At well-known tourist locations, places like Bacalar, people are becoming increasingly aware of Mexico's planned Maya train. It's a key infrastructure project of President Andres Manuel López Obrador, who promises the Maya train will be ready before he leaves office in January 2024. Although it requires overcoming various obstacles, we will complete our promise and the Maya train will be inaugurated in December 2023. We are also upgrading existing tracks for cargo and passenger trains. Parts of the route will be electrified and trains will run on diesel along other stretches of the 1500 kilometer route. We've come to one of the lesser known towns the train is slated to traverse. It's called Felipe Carrillo Puerto, named after a 19th century socialist politician. 175 years ago, this town was the site of a major Maya uprising. Legend has it that a special holy cross, which is now kept at this local church, spoke to the rebel Maya leaders and told them to take up arms. Toward the end of the so-called caste war around the turn of the century, the Mexican government built a military train to bring soldiers and ammunition to fight the Maya rebels, according to the town's leading historian, Carlos Chabal. Part of the strategy of pacification and to exterminate our ancestors, the government used the military train to bring soldiers and ammunition. Our ancestors sabotaged that train installation because they knew what it meant. With that history in mind, we meet with the elected leader of this small town. He says his people, who are mostly elderly, support the Maya train project. But he says the government is offering them only 70 pesos per square meter. Nearby in Tulum, the government is paying 400 to 500 pesos, he says. In Bacalar, it's nearly 300 pesos per square meter. Our team continues along the route of the Maya train. We are heading west into the thick jungles of Mexico's Calakmul bioreserve. In the town of Expujil, a meeting of local Maya agriculture leaders is underway. They say their communities lack running water, schools, and proper health clinics. This Maya leader, Bartolo Lopez, explains that he and his people mostly do not support the Maya train project. He says, we are indigenous people and indigenous communities, and I believe we will never receive a benefit from the development of this train. We walk into one more archaeological site near the town of Expujil in Campeche State and pass through lovely natural areas. It's a weekday, and the place is virtually empty. We're here almost completely alone in this silent and amazingly historic place. And there are those who wonder, will all of that change when the train Maya finally comes through this region? And is that a good thing? Frank Contreras, CGTN in the Calakmul Bioreserve, Mexico.